A Barnsley charity called Disability Information Line, DIAL for short, has helped thousands of people since it was formed over 30 years ago. It advises people with mental or physical disabilities about the benefits they're entitled to claim and if necessary it helps them fill in the appropriate forms. The charity is based in the McClintock's building in Barnsley and here volunteers are seen answering the many calls for help. I first came to Dial when I needed help to know what I was due from um, either social services or social benefit schemes and um, I think it was my GP practice who first gave me the name of Dial and I just came along to one of their open sessions and found them so helpful and I got so much from them that that's made me become a volunteer and come and help too, because I've been coming for quite a few years now. Um, what forms I needed to have from the council or from social services and then they gave me advice on how to complete them, how to fill them in so that you made sure you had the correct answers in because sometimes the wording of how you, know, how you word things gets um, gets misinterpreted or yeah. you're not quite sure so not knowing what they're um what they're due to what they're allowed not knowing what's that's out there in in forms of benefits or social services it it makes a big difference to people's lives if you can put them in the right direction for help it gives them so much um, more independence and gives them confidence and having confidence in your life is very important so um, no I think that that's a very important point. Charlotte Sykes who supports the volunteers and keeps up with ever-changing legislation told us so I am the training and support officer for the uh, volunteers here at Dial uh, I'm a holistic mentor, which means that I work with each volunteer individually. So it's not just about supporting them with the skills they need for the job role at Dial, but working with them as an individual with many needs. Um, so it's about supporting that person to be their best. Um, and that means supporting them around the board with everything, the health and well-being. And obviously volunteering can impact the health and well-being really really productively you know really positively um, but that's second to us we want to know that our volunteers are well you know and if they want to come and help us out for a few hours then we're really grateful for that but they they come first very often um, people that come forward for volunteering are people who have been helped themselves in the past um, Obviously with Dial being a disabled charity we often get a lot of volunteers who have suffered themselves with a, either a physical or a mental disability uh, and because the staff are very attuned to what and how life can, to, can be for disabled people we're very supportive of all our volunteers. Um, we, we'll kind of accept anybody, uh, I'm not saying you know, I'm kind of saying you come to us we look what your skills are and we'll see if, if, if there is something where you can fit into Dial. And if you want to develop new skills, then we're quite happy to do that. But some people come in and their confidence is really low, so they want to start in the office. They may not have the confidence to answer a phone call, you know, but if that's something they want to do to build up their own confidence and self-esteem, then that's something we'll work towards in little steps. Um, and I'll support them to do that, and as will the other staff. Um, Yes, yeah, so it doesn't kind of matter how they are when they get here, it's a willingness to want to, to get involved, I think. That's, you know, they want, they, we want to see people that want to help. Uh, I'm a social inclusion worker for Dial, so I work out in the community, um, finding those people that are isolated, encouraging them to join community groups, I've started my own community group here, um, one in New Lodge. So it's about getting people out of the house and building a sense of community again. Um, because obviously since Covid people have got into the routine of staying in and being on their own, it's about breaking their barriers down again.
Is this because of um, overcoming COVID? Um, I believe so, yeah. I think that's been the main impact on people and what's caused people to be socially isolated during lockdowns and having to stay isolated and things like that. So it's about getting back to a normal, what it was before lockdowns and things like that. And are we beginning to see this happen? Uh, slowly but surely, yeah. Um, it's been hard work to get people engaging, um, but I don't give up easily, so I've, I've carried on and carried on. Um, obviously, this group's been running a couple of weeks now, um, and slowly and surely it's, it is growing, but it's just keeping at it. How do people know about you so that they can approach you? Um, I tend to put posters up, we do a social media website, and a lot of it now is uh, word of mouth. Um, and obviously they can just come along and sign up when they're here. So last week we had two people just come and they joined while they were here. So they don't have to necessarily get in touch with me beforehand to ask if they can come. They can just come like that. So and this is free of charge? Uh, the majority of them are free of charge. Um, things like bingo, the people need to pay for the bingo cards so can get prizes. But stuff like games and that what we're doing today, then that's free of charge. What sort of age group do you cater for? Um, it's mainly adults, uh, it tends to be the older end. Um, I do have a few clients in Kexborough that's uh, in the 30s, so it does vary. But it tends to be those between 45 and 60 that seem to be most isolated at the minute. Well, I come uh, for the company to get out of house, uh, come and meet friends, have a drink, have a chat, and uh, possibly, probably, usually, do crafts or um, perhaps we might get someone to come and speak, you know, speak, give us a talk on something. Um, but mainly it's for company, to get us out of house. So you enjoy it? I really enjoy it, yeah. We look forward to it, yeah. Yeah, we do. And how long have you been coming here? Um, well, it started just before Christmas. And we came a couple of times, and then it started again after Christmas. So we've had two, three sessions, I think. How did you get to know about it? Well, we go to another popping club down at the village hall on a Friday uh, and we got to know about it from there. There were some leaflets uh, distributed and we got a leaflet and we came up, we came up here and, and that's how it started. All the advice and help starts off with a phone call to 01226 240 273 Monday to Friday between 9 and 4pm. And of course, thanks to Dial, it's entirely free of charge.